Hi people, I want to run you through the uh, chain tension today, eh? as promised to like a still grip last night. Some guys were talking about it, there seemed to be a bit of confusion. So, here we have a still MS361. It's got a 16 inch bar on it. Um, and that shouldn't really matter too much that you know how, how long the bar is, because whenever you achieve correct chain tension, I'm going to show you how that works in a minute. But the important part is that it's got two nuts. So it's got two bolts for the bar to sit on, okay? For the bar to pivot on. So remember that. Let me just shift this. I was using some stuff earlier out of my first aid kit to mark the side of this box. So. This is essential. Let me just pop it here. I might have to move you forward a little while so you can see what's going on. Let me, I'm just going to slacken off the tension, um, just going to slacken off the tension in these side nuts here. And I'm going to take the chain tension off as well, okay, so you should see that drop in a wee second. So watch the nose of the bar. Did you see it drop there? And now we've got chain properly slack. I don't know if you can see that there. But where do I see? Give me a second, I'm just going to set the, the beer prop up. So you can see properly. Yeah. So, all I'm going to do is go back to the, the chain adjuster and dial clockwise until Did you see the bar rise there, okay? That's correct chain tension. Let me just tighten up the side nuts. So, we know we've got some other tests for chain tension that we've always done. We do this pluck test. And I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty good to me. Now what's happened there? As I've achieved correct chain tension, the chain has caused the bar to sit up on these two pins, these two bolts down here. It's sat up like that. And if you've got a four foot or a five foot guide bar, the same thing's gonna happen. It's just that you'll notice that the chain feels like you can pull more of it away from the bar, but that's okay too. Now, there's a little bit of room for movement with this, obviously. We can slightly tension the chain if our clutch starts to wear a little, but that's a relationship that we're going to have to play with the chain tension, the clutch in here, and the low idle revs back here. So you need to know what you're doing if you're going to start playing about with those, eh? I hope this helps.